can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Chapter 9 here, centroid, right, center of gravity, center of mass. It says locate the center of mass of the homogeneous rod bent into the shape of a circular arc. Um, to start this one, to be honest, I feel like, you know, those rod ones are a rod and like ropes and bent uh, beam and stuff like that. These are a little like harder than the one for like finding an area, right? Because you have to like, I don't know, really like trying to understand the equations. So just before we go into the uh, question, um, let's look at, you know, the area of a circle, right? Oops. Let's look at the area of a circle, which is, uh, pi r squared, right? And what is the derivative of this, right? I have a student who like asked me before, he's like um, taking calc one and then he's like, oh Jack, why is, you know, finding the lowest, um, you know, using optimization and find the lowest uh, y and x uh, and height of a, um, a box, you have to do the double derivative, right? So and I spent like half an hour trying to explain him, and he just have no understanding of calculus and like have no background. Um, so looking at this, right, what is the derivative? So here we go. So what is the derivative of the area, right? Equals two pi r, right? A derivative of r is over here, right? Um, right, it gives you two pi r. And what is two pi r? Two pi r is the circumference of a circle, right? And you find the dr again, it gives you 2 pi, which is the radius of a circle, right? And um, and what is the um, what is the uh, volume? What is the area? Uh, I mean, so if we're going to 3D, right? A 3D of a circle, what is that? Is 4 pi 3, right? Is 4 pi 3? Like, no. Was it? And then, wait, this is the equation. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. This is the volume. And then this is the area. Oh, sorry. So this is the, this is the volume of a 3D circle, right? A sphere. So what is the deriv derivative of this? 4 pi 2, right? See? It's the derivative of this thing over here, right? Isn't that cool? It's very cool. Oh, and wait, sorry, r pi, r pi over here, right? So like, it's it's not just about like memorizing the equation, how to do a derivative. You have to think about like in real life. So you know, a, deriv a derivative of volume, it is area, right? And derivative of area is the limit. Right, it's it's one dimension to the to the lower one, right? That's what derivative is all about. It's not just about finding the speed and like finding the curve. It's also also about dimensions and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's start. I guess start with this one. So what are we trying to find here? We're trying to find the circumference, right? But this is not a circle. We can't use that. But if you learned, you know, the radius of a uh, arc times the radian, or the opposite, uh, what is this, radius, this is radius, this is radian, my bad, radian times radius gives you the, the giving arc length uh, within the uh, radian domain, right, so um, radian, we don't know what, the, what is that, so we call it theta times r, right, that is what we are trying to find here, okay, but we don't know what this is, so we only have R. So we have to work our way up there. So what is the derivative of this in terms of theta here, right? In terms of theta, because theta is the one that's that we have the domain here. And this is the 2 pi over 3, and this is the negative 2 pi over 3, right? It's not dr because dr is already given, right? So theta is the one that we're trying to calculate here uh, with, the do uh, with the domain given set, or range in this sense. Um, so I have to use R, right, use this, and uh, with 2 pi over 3 and negative 2 pi over 3, 
this should be the DL, right? This is the given uh, circumference. This is the circumference we're trying to calculate within the uh, given domain of an arc, right? And uh, so DA over here, right, for a length for a rod, then replace the A with an L. So um, now we know what DL, which is the, the denominator, equals to. This is the uh, X over here. So what is X, right? We don't just put X on it. We have to think about, okay, what's X over here? And DA, right, is um, this thing over here. So what is X? Fortunately, this is symmetrical, so we can only, we just have to use cosine of theta. Right? Cosine of theta gives you the area of an X, I mean the value of an X, right? And times DL, right, which is... Um, dr a d theta oh I'm sorry r times the value right because you see r right over here that's the length of r and times the theta right Co times cosine of theta is the x uh, value times the sine of theta gives you the y value I think that's pretty easy right simple uh, trigonometry stuff from grade eight so this is the x, gives you the x value, and times theta times r again, and that is uh, dl, right? And this is x. So now we have everything plugs uh, into this equation over here, right? Which is uh, r squared cosine of theta uh, d theta over, um, if you solve this integral over here, right? This is uh, r times theta uh, between the domain of 2 pi divided by 3. Uh, and uh, negative 2 pi over 3. This whole thing uh, should give you, I think, uh, 0 0.3 uh, times 4 pi over 3, right? So yeah, let's uh, plug everything in. So r squared over here, right? The integral of cosine of theta d theta, uh, 2 pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, over uh, 0 0.3, times 4 pi over 3, right? This is just a 0 .0 0 0.09, right? And d theta, I mean the integral of cosine theta is sine theta, sine theta times uh, 2 pi over 3. That is, um, let's see, square root of 3 over 2, right? Plus another square root of 3 over 2, that is square root of 3 over here, and uh, times 0 0.9. 3, 4 pi over 3. Plug everything into your calculator, solve it. Uh, x bar should give you the centroid of x distance from the x axis. Uh, uh, from the y axis is um, 124 um, millimeters. It should give you 0 0.124 uh, and times 1000. You know, one meter equals equals one thousand millimeters. And um, here we go for this question. Um, and yeah, as I said, this one's challenging than usual. I would say, right? I like to do the areas ones more than these, but you know, with practice, it will come in no time, right? It's all about understanding um, these things over here, right? Uh, understanding the relationship between the area circumference and the and the radians, radian. Right, um, and then just work your way there, right? So this this we have to use the radian. So how do we find that? Right, we have to start with the radian and integral of. Uh, we have to start with r integral of radian to gives you the uh, circumference of of the uh, arc over here. All right, hope this video was helpful. Good luck on your studies, and um, I will see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.